Got another signal here and I look down and I think it's another pistol. A brand new adventure today. We're gonna to do some metal detecting on a farm that should have Civil War stuff on it. Uh, this was part of a major retreat route for the Confederate Army. Now I am with Mike of Great Finds and he's dilly-dallying over the hill, probably finding a bunch of bullets. Anyway, I just dug a shotgun shell right there and that's pretty much all I've found so far, but uh, I think we're really gonna do really well out here today. And the fact that there are shotgun shells still buried out here had not been found by other diggers uh, leads me to believe that this we're going to find some stuff. I know personally several people that have metal detected this farm over the years and done okay. I'm just hoping we can get into a little spot where there's a bunch of relics yet. I'm going to tell you a really cool story later if we find something in that spot. But if not, to history it goes. Now I'll tell it to you anyway. All right, let's wait for Mike. He should be, he was right behind me. <laughs> Ground's a little bit frozen today, so it takes a while to dig stuff. So I kind of backtrack because I'm looking for Mike because I thought he was right behind me. Down over the hill, he's in the bottom searching around. I went through that area pretty quick because I just found like aluminum buried down about a foot. Uh, so I th and a bunch of concrete, so I think that the farmer pushed a lot of trash around there. Looks like he's coming our way. He's right behind that big tree down there. So he's going to work his way up here. Once he works his way up here, we're going to go to a specific spot that... During a major retreat from a major battle, uh, the Confederate Army was coming through here at night. And there's a crossroads here as they built a great big bonfire because it was a rainy night. And uh, built a great big bonfire right along the road to signal the troops and the wagons and everything to make a right-hand turn here. And I want to go to that spot where the bonfire probably was and see if we can find anything there, any Confederate stuff, melted lead, and I'd be happy if we can even find just a little bit of charcoal knowing that we're standing on that very spot where they had that big signal fire. I just think that would be really cool. Probably going to be a lot of cans there because it's right, it's right on a 90 degree turn on a well crossroads actually. All right, he's, he's coming our way. He probably found some aluminum too. <laughs> he doesn't have any headphones today. Poor Mike. My ears will be nice and warm. His won't. It's cold. <laughs> Down here along the road, right in the corner, and there's a ton of beer cans and junk. A lot of iron, too, so that's a good sign. It's not something interesting here I wanted to show you and get your opinion on. Remember I told you, they were, you know, the Confederates had a big bonfire down here, signal fire to make sure the army turned, made a turn here. You think that's their fire pit? <laughs> kind of weird to be out here, isn't it? I don't know what it is. Um, obviously, it, you know, it's not a fire pit for the Confederate army, but... I, I'm not even sure what that is or why it's here. You know, maybe some reenactors camped there some years ago reenacting this, because that's something I would do if I was a reenactor, and had a fire in it. That's a possibility, I suppose. All right, let's get back at it. Hey, I hate it right along the edge of the road because there's so many cans and junk. There's a stop sign right there when the people drive by. Of course, they throw their beer bottles and beer cans at the stop sign to see if they can hit it, so the field's loaded with junk kind of like galaxy bottle there and there's a bunch of things here beer can beer bottle soda bottles broken glass and that's a shame bottle there got a nice signal here big signal so i went and dug it because there could be cannonballs out here obviously that's not a cannonball but nice big old piece of iron a little dip here not sure what that's all about back to a cell phone obviously they had a stone wall going along here nice area just a, just a lot of junky signals, unfortunately. But we'll keep at it. Sounds pretty frozen still, down about, just about an uh, inch or two from last night. I mean, there is stuff like this that's buried that if this place had been completely dug out, this should have been dug already. So there's a, there's a chance we could find some Civil War stuff here if we can just keep going through and don't get really disgusted with digging soda cans or beer can tops. So I'm digging away, still finding a lot of cans and stuff. And I got this sweet signal, like 90, that, uh, well, normally that's like, could be something big and brassy. And I didn't get the, uh, I didn't get the camera. I'm so excited right now. I didn't get the camera out because I'm like, you know, right on the road. There's two roads that meet here. But I want you to look at something, dudes. That to me, Looks like it could possibly be a belt buckle, a Civil War belt buckle. And if it is, there's a good chance it's Confederate. Is it? 
<gasps> no! <laughs> it is a brass door. That's a brass uh, lock plate. Actually, it might even be aluminum for a door. 100% junk, but boy, that was reading like 90, just like a uh, sword belt plate. I thought I had old Mikey again, but not, not this time. I'm still right in the corner. I mean, it's an interesting place. I just dug a big old piece of uh, uh, copper wire from the, I guess, electric lines up there. But I mean, that was buried. No one's ever dug that signal, and that's a screamer, man. This is the kind of spot that if you're willing to stay here and dig 100 junk signals, you, you could possibly find something really good. So, we'll, see, we'll hang out a little bit longer. <laughs> Why not? This little rock break right here right along the edge of the road looks very interesting because the soil is super dark on it. I was hoping maybe this is this might be where they built the uh, the fire, but uh, I'm not finding uh, any, you know, anything old, just shotgun shells and modern stuff from the roadway. Uh, but it looks like could, that could be like a charcoal -y type uh, soil, but I, I'm not seeing any charcoal yet. Just a lot of like modern stuff and <laughs> broken glass. I should have gloves on today. I moved away from the corner. I just dug this. I thought I had a, a Civil War gun, but it's a toy pistol. See, it's all breaking apart. Had my heart going there for a bit. <laughs> Dogs are crushed or they don't like me out here. But that's okay. We're big and we're mean. Well, this is one of the junkiest places I've been to. There's a uh, broken glass with an aluminum lid. That's a little uh, alcohol, you know, bottle of alcohol, nip or whatever they call them. And there's a lot, a lot of this kind of stuff along the road here. So, uh, yeah, I gotta be careful. So we're still searching uh, the property. I'm basically walking down this road right there. Uh, that's a retreat route. Hoping to get into some bullets or something, but I'm not finding anything old. I'm finding a lot of modern junk. In fact, the closer I get to the road, I mean, you can't hardly even detect. There's so much junk. Mike should be behind me, but I haven't seen him for a while, but he's headed this way. I found that little toy pistol like way, way up there, about as far as you can see. Got another signal here and I look down and I think it's another pistol. Looky! <laughs> no, it's not a pistol. Yeah, it is. Thunder gun. Yeah, so that's weird. It's a second toy pistol that I found today. It might be more over here. I don't know. I'm not going to look around too hard for it, but yeah, two guns. One day. You know, one thing I've noticed about this property that's kind of weird is a lot of areas where it looks like it was dug out. I mean, that wasn't for a pond, obviously, but it's a dugout area there, pile of dirt there. They're all over this woods. I'm not sure what they were doing. There's another pile down there. I'll have to talk to the owner. Um, cause that's just, I just find that curious. I mean, what the heck were they doing? I don't know. Well, I'm still trying to find a spot. I've gone all the way down the property line along the road and um, didn't find a single thing that was old. Just a million beer cans that were flattened and stuff. Uh, so I was only right, like really listening for bullet signals. I gave up on the really good sounds and anything that sounded like a pull tab. Don't know where Mike is. He's behind me. I've already turned around. I'm actually headed back to him now. But I got a decent signal here and I, I, I don't know what it is, but it could be something old i'll get you out i think that's it right in the corner down there i mean it might just be a shotgun shell yeah so that's it i can kind of see maybe you can too it's a little bit of a roundness there it's probably a shotgun shell but <laughs> at least it's something yeah no what is that Thought that might be a shotgun shell, but it isn't. It's a big old chunky brassy thing. Kind of looks like a giant button, but it's too big for a button. It's probably lit off of something. Ah, uh, boy, I almost recognize that. Hold on a second. Yeah. All right. So we have a chunky brassy thing. Could I think it might like it might have been part of a knife, but I'm not so sure. Um, but that could be of Civil War vintage. I mean, that's kind of it's possible. All right, we'll start digging more seriously now. And like I said, I, I'm really just listening for bullets because once I find my first bullet, Civil War bullet that's dropped, 
then I'll dig everything, even if it's a, like a screamer that sounds like a can or a shotgun shell. But until I find that, I mean, I'm just digging shotgun shells, so I'm kind of probably moving a lot faster than, <laughs> than Mike is. It's that little building over there, that's a deer blind. You know, people sitting there when they're hunting deer. Nice signal here, I dug it up. It is a fired rifle casing, probably a 30 odd six. Uh, the fact that these signals are still in the ground tells me that there's, if there's Civil War stuff or was Civil War stuff here, there's still gonna be some stuff here because that's just a beautiful signal right there. Um, but we're not finding it, <laughs> are we? <laughs> oh well. I'm gonna head back toward Mike. So Mike's up in the field, so I popped out of the woods and I just found a big old piece of kettle. Now that's a really good sign. Um, that's, you know, that's pretty old, could pro most likely pre-Civil War. Now this could have been uh, carried out into the field by manure spread years ago, or it could be an old house or campsite uh, right here where I'm standing. I'm headed up to Mike right now, he's up on that hill and he's been going in circles. So he probably found a little something. I was just talking to Mike, he said he found a large scent. And um, so I came over to this area and kind of, I think it's going to be a home site in here because you don't normally just find random large scents in fields. And I think that's a brick. I'm starting to pick up a little bit of iron. Uh, I'm getting close to the road, but what I'm going to do is kind of go back and forth in circles here and zigzag. I think it's going to be a home site in here because it's just, you just don't normally find just a random large scent, although it can happen. It's also more iron right here than any place I've been so far, except along the road where it was all fence wire. I've been chasing the iron. You know, find a little piece of brick, and guess what? I got a largey. Not far from his. Boy, that thing's light though. Um, yeah. So when, when you know, when you find a coin and there's like iron and stuff around, you now chances are you're on the edge of a home site or something like that, or a Civil War camp. Um, I think I haven't actually found where the foundation was yet. We're well, considering we found two large tents, 20 feet apart. If I find that foundation hole you know where it was the co biggest concentration of nails and iron and pottery i think is going to be quite a few more so <laughs> mike's gone i don't know where he went but well, he's across the field there but hopefully he'll turn around after a bit we we'll find large right down there this is a beautiful signal so that could be another one small enough that it's not like a big piece of a can it's got a nice high squeak to her you know saying it's a largey but it's something non fair so that's a good metal. All right, it's in the frozen ground. You see it? Oh, it can. Uh-oh, it's in here. It's frozen. Oh, it's a largey look. <laughs> it's either uh, some type of like colonial copper or button. It's a colonial copper. Look at that. Yes, indeedy. That's not even focused. <laughs> there it is. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Possum. Mike's, Mike's headed back now. So I moved off that little hill that we're on a couple of large scents. And I'm, I'm working my way back to where I found that piece of cooking kettle uh, across the field. And I think I just found a bullet of some sort right there. It was actually pretty close to the surface, as you can tell. I think it's a bullet. Yeah, okay, so we have a civil war, probably because there was a big skirmish in this area and they camped all through here. Uh, musket ball, I don't know if that's been fired or dropped because it's got too much mud on it. Let's go ahead and clean up just a little bit. That could be a dropped one right there. Nah, uh, probably fired. If it was, it was, uh, huh, could be dropped. Now, yeah, if you look, you can see right here, it's smushed down a little bit not quite round, so that uh, tells me it was a fired bullet. That's where they jammed it down the barrel and flattened it out, flattened the edges out on the side, of the, you know, inside of the musket uh, barrel and the bore. That's why it's flat like that. But that's a Civil War musket ball. Now it looks like it might have another fired bullet of some sort. It's probably another round ball that's impacted pretty close. So that could have that could have hit a uh, wagon, a tree, Probably not the ground, unless it was firing directly at the ground, but it hit pretty close, though, um, from the position they were firing it. Now, I do know these are, well, reasonably certain they're Civil War bullets. There's actually a pretty sizable skirmish right here. Um, so this is probably what that's from. In 1863. So I'm over in the area where I found the pot shard. And not getting too much, but I just dug a piece of brassy stuff. It's like it's melted. What do you think? Well, it's weird, huh? 
that's not uh, lead that's brass that's been melted so there was a very hot fire nearby could have been a house here that burned down this could have been hauled over here from uh you know putting a manure spreader or something but the fact that we have nice big old chunky brass piece that's melted and the pot shard not too far away gives me hope now we're on the trail of another home site in this part of the field <laughs> let's hope so so right over in there is where i found that big chunk of uh melted brass and over here on this part of the hill i'm starting to get a lot more iron and looky there's an old brick right there so um take a listen take my headphone off for you so you can hear it i mean it's not a ton of well, i'm gonna put iron audio so you can hear it piece of iron there but you hear it's um well you didn't hear the rest of the field the rest of the field didn't have much in it I think we're on a home site though. That brick is very, 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 very exciting to me. And the fact that the iron's picking up as we're going up this little slope right here. I think right in here is going to be a home site and it's going to be loaded with coins. Well, so far I'm not doing so hot here. Uh, it's not paved with coins, it's paved with junk. Uh, I've seen a couple more bricks, uh, a couple pieces of junk like this. No old pottery yet and, you know, no uh, pre Civil War items coming out of the ground. That's just the light bulb. Uh, well, it could be to a tractor or a car or almost anything really, but I'm hearing the aluminum that was on it. All right, a little bit longer, and then we're going to move to another part of the field. So I'm still in the area here, and I'm, I'm seeing some, there's some pottery there now. So there's a couple of pieces of pottery, broken brick, piece of pottery, and listen to the iron. So I think I am on a home site. But it may have been hunted before. There's not a lot of good squeakers. But uh, I'm going to put you away and just hunt this little circle, this little area right here where all this iron is. Hopefully come up with something. See the pottery down there and stuff? That's where I just made that last scene. And just a few feet over, got a really good squeaker. And this is it. Um, I don't know if it's heavy enough to be solid lead. I was thinking it might be some type of white metal, but I'm not sure. It's kind of melted. Could be from a home site or, you know, maybe this is a dump. Who knows? It's not solid, though. It's not solid lead. It's got something else in it. Hmm. So the pottery and stuff is right there. And right over here, I got a super squeaker. I'm hoping it's going to be a coin. Although I have not seen it yet. At least I know it's not a, it's not a pull tab. Oh yeah, yes. oh yeah, oh no, <laughs> that's not a good sign if it's in that stuff. What's in here? What is it? Oh, okay, so what we have here, if you can now see it, is that's a handle to a knife. Might be a folding knife. It's hard to say, but it's a, that's a nice old one. That's that's like Civil War era before, maybe. That's a good sign right there. So I think we're definitely on a home site. I'm not sure what happened to Mike. He just kind of took off. You never know with kids nowadays, do you? I always love it when I see this kind of stuff right here. It tells us this is a nice old site. Not a lot of squeakers, so this could have been detected before. This guy, uh, the, the, the owner, says lots of people have been out here, um, but... Uh, we're definitely on a uh, on a site right now. Maybe not too big, but could have a coin in here yet. So this is a nice home site relic right here. What we have is a thimble. This is a sewing thimble, which would go over your little pinky or your finger for sewing clothes made out of brass. That tells me we're definitely right on her now. Just a matter of time. Got a nice little squeaker in this clod of dirt uh, or frozen ground. I think it might be a bullet right there. What do you think? I actually had to move away from the uh, area where that home site was because I wouldn't find anything else. Is that a bullet, I hope? Oh, no. God, it looks like it, doesn't it? <sighs> the problem is the ground is uh, it's frozen, so really... Ooh, melted, I think. <laughs> I mean, oh, that's a giant piece of melted lead. That's what that is. All right, so what we have here is a giant piece of melted lead. 
And there's a good chance this was from a Civil War camp. Not 100%, um, because there were, was a home site not too far from here. But when I see something like that, you know, I think Civil War camp. So we're going to slow down right here, see if we can find some uh, drop bullets, maybe a few buttons, a couple of uh, nice Civil War coins, maybe an ID disc, belt buckle, bayonet, musket. All right, I'm going to scoot. I see Mike back at the truck. My GoPro is messing up. I don't even know if it's recording right now. So we'll see you later. Adios. She'll shake the coins from your pocket. Take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand. Keep it for eternity Mother Earth, she's got